a cheerful good morning and a very warm welcome to each and every one of you present today in the science class before going ahead again the same little bit of introduction or basically uh, you can say just the request from your side to take all the necessary precautions regarding your covid 19 so that you as well as your family and us and everyone on the surface of the earth or basically in india or outside even all those peoples who are in trouble they get will soon and at the same time let us <coughs> try to eradicate this pandemic situation let us try to remove this pandemic situation by taking all the necessary precautions and at the same time spreading the awareness among the peoples as well okay so before going ahead with the class again today uh, as it has been long time last week only we have uh, got the class on wednesday so today first i'm going to share you the syllabus and thereafter we'll be going ahead with our class today as you can see here in this chapter that is your this is over this part annual portion uh, october to november we have to complete three chapters that is your simple machines air and water as well as rocks and minerals and the above two chapters that is your uh, simple machines and air and water they have been already completed except for little bit of portions okay apart from that this rocks and minerals is still going on and uh, the things are delayed or <coughs> it is not yet completed just because of the one reason that is we had a lot of holidays in which our classes they have been missed if you can remember yesterday only we were having the class but <coughs> on account of Dev Dipali, the entire uh, it was uh, a holiday and the classes could not be scheduled here. Okay, so this is the main reason why we are not uh, why we are little bit late regarding completion of our last chapter, but not at all a problem for us because already we have a long uh, December as well as January. Okay, so let us start with our this class rocks and minerals. If you remember, we have done. In the last class, if you remember, we have discussed about this metamorphic rocks as well as what are the different types of this metamorphic rocks. That is your marble, slate, then we have <coughs> nymphs and quartzite, okay, or quartzite, or quartite as well, you can say it, if Z is silent here, okay. Today we are going to start with the next topic that is rocks as a resource. What are the following called? That is your checkpoint we have already discussed starting with this one that is rocks as a resources okay the very first thing is what is a resource okay when we are talking about the resource so resource is basically anything which is able to satisfy our needs okay like if you take the example uh, you all are having either your desktop laptop or your mobile phones in front of you through which you are attending the class okay so this is helping you to attend the class that is your purpose is being fulfilled so this is acting like a resource only okay so anything which is able to fulfill your needs your wishes your demands or anything that is considered to be your resource okay your clothes are your resource because they are able to make you smart enough okay your fans are resource because they are able to give you air your lights are a resource because they are able to provide you with the light through which you are able to see properly and carry out with your day-to-day -day life activities or the daily task also you can say okay so in this way each and everything present on the earth which is helping us in some or the other way is acting like a resource if you remember we have discussed about the rocks and everything so these rocks are also a resource only why because this rocks is slowly and slowly it gets converted into soil and this soil is <coughs> helping the plants to grow and that is why we are able to get food otherwise it would not have been possible for us to get this food items that is your cereal grains vegetables and everything more or less these rocks are also responsible for providing minerals in our water which we are drinking so this in this way also it is helping us so that is why we are saying here or we are just insisting on this thing that is always remember whenever anyone asks you that is what is a resource so anything any substance or any process or anything when we include anything so
so that includes all the things basically okay so anything which is able to satisfy your needs which is able to fulfill your wishes your demands or anything okay that is considered to be a resource moving ahead with this how these rocks are acting like a resource let us have a quick reading and thereafter I'll be explaining you here. We use rocks for various purposes besides building materials, rocks provide us with important resources such as fuels, metals and gemstones. Okay, so if you can see the very <coughs> one of the structure which is there in front of you, a very famous monument that is your Taj Mahal, which is a point of interest throughout the world. Okay. So this is also made up of rocks only. So this is one of the uses of the rocks that is for the construction of houses, buildings or monuments or anything like that. Okay, moving ahead, these rocks, they also provide us with important ones like your fuels. Okay, when we are talking about the fuels, so <coughs> how this rocks are providing us with the fuels, metals, gemstones and everything. When we are talking about the fuels, let us have a quick view how this fuel is obtained okay now before going ahead with this that is how this rocks are acting like a fuel i would like to insist here that is you have a chapter which is known as coal and petroleum in class 8 okay that is in chemistry portion you will be studying about the same things in detail in that chapter okay so basically here what we are going to study fuel is what okay ab jaise do words aapke paas naye aaye yahan pe they are your <coughs> resources and fuel okay so resources is anything which is fulfilling your need and fuel is what anything which is able to supply so much energy so much heat that it is able to carry your work here theek hai jaise fuel kya hai koi bhi ek aisi cheez jo itni energy provide kar de ki aapka kaam pura ho jaye okay just like for an example your LPG is a fuel, okay, because it is able helping you to cook your foods, items and everything, okay. In the same way, your petrol and diesels, they are also acting like a fuel because they are helping the, your vehicles to run on the roads, okay. So in this way, each and coal is a fuel because it is helping us not only in the production of electricity, that is in the nuclear reactors, but also they are also used for various kinds of domestic purposes that is for cooking and everything okay uh, you must have seen that uh, when the season of corn is there bhutta okay the bhutta so most of the times you'll find that the people who are selling it okay they used to use this coal only for roasting it okay usko sekne ke liye, bhujne ke liye, generally they use coal only and this coal is also of two types that is the rock coal and the wooden coal okay so here we will be discussing basically of the rock coal only Okay, let us go ahead with this. Fuels such as coal and petroleum are obtained from the rocks. They are valuable sources of energy for us. Coal is a shiny, black, sedimentary rock. Coal is usually formed in places which are low-lying and covered with thick, swampy forest. Okay, as the plants they die, they get buried in the swamps. They begin to decay and get covered with the layers of mud clay, silt and more dead plants. As more and more layers get deposited over the years, heat and pressure change them into coal. Formation of coal is a very slow process and it takes millions of years. Okay, now let us try to understand this thing. What is this coal? As the first line says here, it is a shiny black sedimentary rock now remember this thing that is i told you that two types of coal is there the wooden coal and the rock coal this rock coal is your shiny but your wooden coal is not shiny enough okay let us have a quick understanding of this thing
if you take the example here that is, this is acting like a swampy forest not good enough but fair enough to make you understand this part okay suppose this uh, this is the forest okay now apart from the bigger trees you also have some smaller ones which are very low lying here Okay, all of you are very much aware of this part. Okay, in this way. So this entire is representing your forest. Now see, <coughs> whenever all these forest regions, they are densely covered with vegetation. When we are talking about vegetation, so basically we are talking about the different types of plants which are present like herbs, shrubs and trees. Okay, pure pure plants ko teen categories mein divide kiya jata hai. Herbs, sabse chote, sabse matlab jo ground ke surface ke paas mein hote hain. Usse bade shrubs and then taller ones, they are your trees. So since they are very much thick vegetation is there, dense vegetation is there and when any kind of natural calamity comes like your earthquake comes or flood comes or anything like that take him kuch bhi aisa hua jiske wajah se ye pure ke pure plants submerged ho gaye dharti ke andar theek hai ya inke upar kuch aakar ke settle ho gaya theek hai flood aa gaya mud aa gaya ye sare ke sare ped gir gaye aur inke upar ek thick deposition of layer ho gaya sediments ka mud ka soil ka ya kisi bhi cheez ka okay so when these plants basically when they die okay either due to some natural reasons or by themselves only they get buried on the soil and slowly and slowly this entire part okay it gets covered with a thick layer of vegetation okay including your mud sand and everything okay and these layers they keep on increasing from time to time okay and due to increase in these layers the uh, the pressure as well as the temperature increases to a greater fold and a time comes when the heat as well as the temperature increases heat temperature and the pressure of the overlying layers theek hai ek ke upar ek layers ka jo formation hota jata hai theek hai unke wajah se jo pressure aur temperature mein increase hota hai वो इस एक्सटेंड तक होता है कि दैट इज इट कैन नॉट बी इमेजिन ओके सो ड्यू टू दिस हाई प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर दैट इज दीज टू आर द बेसिक रीजन वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके दैट इज ड्यू टू दिस टू थिंग्स अकर हियर due to the heat and the pressure okay because of these two things whatever the dead plants are there plants are there these plants they get converted into coal okay and it is just because of the heat as well as the pressure okay okay in this way you'll be able to understand in a much more better way if you can see here okay the dead plants when they undergo lot of pressure as well as heat they get converted into coal okay just because of this part this gets converted into coal now this coal can be obtained by digging the soil to a greater depth now see who is going to dig and how this process is done if you remember few days back i told you one of the story related to my journey to bina project 
that is to shakti nagar or sonbhadr okay so when i went there basically the coal mines are there and the people are continuously digging the soil digging the mountains and everything and when they get that black rock okay they immediately take it out and that black rock is nothing but it is the metamorphic ro sorry sedimentary rock shiny rock that is your coal here okay so when all these things are being done basically if you will uh, since most of you are not reading the newspapers quite often i'll be able to inform you uh, one of the story related to this that is all these mountains or the lands they are being taken on a rent okay or be basically you can say it to be a lease also theek hai jaise kiraye pe le liya jata hai and the people used to just dug it okay and whenever all these precious resources are found like in the coal only diamonds are also found so whenever any kind of diamonds or coal whatever the quantity of the coal is being uh, taken out from those people they are paid a little amount of money and the entire precious resources whether it is the diamond or the coal it is being collected from these people and being sold into the markets just at a greater price than what is being paid to these workers okay moving ahead with this so this is basically how the coal is being formed yaad rakhiyega theek hai whenever the dead vegetation that is the dead plants they get covered with a lot of sediments that is a lot of layers of soil mud and various other layers slowly and slowly the temperature and the pressure increases and due to this increase in the temperature and the pressure the rocks they get converted into coal okay moving ahead with this now see the very last line formation of coal is a very slow process and it takes millions of years okay it is not like this that today the plants have died and tomorrow or day after tomorrow they will be getting converted into coal no not like this this is going this is a very lengthy process a very long process requiring thousands of years millions of years that is why more emphasis is given on renewable resources solar energy wind energy as well as hydro energy okay why because since it is taking millions of years to form so if somehow once the coal or these resources they get uh, exhausted it is very difficult for us to renew them as it is going to take a lot of time which we cannot be faced by the human beings okay if today the entire coal mines they shut down our entire electricity will be gone okay it was one of the statements from one of the higher authorities that if all the coal mines which are operating in india or in the world they are shut off the entire electricity or the amount of electricity which we are receiving now that will go to zero okay or we will not be able to get that amount of electricity or for that period of electricity which we are getting it now okay moving ahead with this we have petroleum or crude oil is a thick black liquid found deep inside the earth usually between the layers of sedimentary rocks petroleum is formed from the remains of the dead plants and animals in the sea millions of years ago these remains got buried in the layers in the seabed over the years heat and pressure changed them to petroleum okay now this is just similar to your coal and petroleum the only two differences are there that is here both plants as well as animals are included in the case of coal only plants were there second difference they are generally found in between the sedimentary rocks or basically in the aquatic uh, sea rivers or your oceans basically because most of the aquatic animals are present there only so whenever these aquatic animals they die they settle at the bottom of the sea floor jaise hamara dharti hota hai waise hi ocean beds hote hain theek hai ya ocean ka floor hota hai sea ka floor hota hai to wahan pe jaake wo sare dead animals settle ho jate hain and they again get covered with a layer of uh, mud sediments rocks and everything and slowly and slowly just again the same things that is due to heat and pressure these dead plants as well as animals basically 
they get converted into petroleum okay moving ahead the next one we have that is the natural gas is obtained from the same rocks where coal and petroleum are found it is also formed from the decayed remains of plants and animals okay so here also the process remains the same if you can see here okay that is in all the cases basically it is the dead plants and animals only who are going to form the resources whether it is coal or petroleum or your natural gas okay basically in the case i told you that uh, all the three things whether it is coal petroleum or the natural gas you'll be studying in detail in your higher class that is class 8 when you will have this chapter coal and petroleum as one of the chapters of science portion chemistry okay moving ahead with this we have here if you are able to observe this figure here so we have here that is the low lying forest get buried in the swamps okay if you can see this next or here as well okay that is these are most probably the plants which are getting buried into the swamps or basically the mud and everything these plants decay and get covered with layers of mud clay and more dead plants okay if you can see here these layers they are getting buried with more layers of mud and everything and slowly and slowly after millions of years the lower layers of decayed plants change to coal by heat and pressure if you can see this were the lower layers in between the plants which were present the dead plants they have got converted into coal due to the pressure exerted by the upper layers of the sediments okay moving ahead with this when we are talking about the natural gas so it is also obtained from the same uh, rocks where coal and petroleum are found it is also formed from the dead uh, remains of the plants as well as animals the the next part which is there is that is coal and natural gas are burned in power stations to produce electricity i just now i gave you the hint related to this the next we have here is that is petroleum is refined to obtain a number of products such as petrol diesel petroleum gas kerosene and lubricating oil okay petrol and diesel are used as fuel in vehicles liquefied petroleum gas that is your lpg is used in our homes as cooking fuel petroleum is also used to make medicines fertilizers plastics paints paraffin wax and so on okay that is when you will be studying that is what are the different products which are obtained when you done when you do the refining of petroleum approximately more than 300 products or 150 products they are being obtained which are used in some or the other industries okay like if you take the example of your vaseline jelly which we are talking about okay which is i'm talking about the jazz, uh, jelly portion okay the vaseline jelly i'm not talking about that lotion okay so this vaseline jelly is also oh, one of the products obtained from this refining of petroleum only okay the diesels paraffin wax kerosene and everything they all are present as you have seen that here it has been told that petroleum is a thick black uh, liquid okay so actually it is not only petrol only but it is a mixture of so many things that is 150 or 350 things okay which get separated during fractional distillation or when we do the refining of petroleum okay jab hum, refining basically means what separating the constituents of this petroleum so that we can obtain all these things petrol diesel paraffin wax and similarly we can use it in our different different industries and everything okay moving ahead just like uh, in the case of your natural gas some of the gases like your lpg is also obtained that is from the refining of petroleum but in some cases you are able to find the natural gas also which is directly used after refining for various kinds of uh, like domestic fuels or anything like that okay liquefied basically means made into liquid form okay uh, how you can observe this part, uh, this part why do we say that it is your uh, LPG that is your liquefied petroleum gas you can just do a simple activity that is uh, please try to do it under the supervision of your parents just tell your mother or brother elder brother if he is 
to uh, just shake your cylinder that is your LPG cylinder and you'll be able to find that uh, you'll feel that some kind of liquid sound is coming that is some kind of liquid is filled inside the container so but it is not the liquid basically filled it is the gases only which has been compressed agar aapko yaad ho to states of matter mein hum logo ne ye cheez padha tha ki jab gases ke molecules ko hum pass mein kar dete hain compress kar dete hain to they get converted into liquid so the same thing has been done here in the case of your lpg isiliye iska naam hai liquefied uh, uh, <coughs> petroleum gas that is basically you have compressed this gas and due to the compression it has got converted into liquid lekin jaise hi aap knob kholte ho usko jagah milta hai nikalne ke liye to immediately it gets converted into vapors okay moving ahead with this okay as coal petroleum and natural gas are formed from the dead uh, decayed remains of the dead plants and animals they are called fossil fuels and they are the valuable natural resources okay now all these things they are obtained from the dead remains of the plants and animals decaying decaying means sadana basically okay by the action of microbes and everything and slowly and slowly okay these resources are getting uh, depleted at a very faster rate at which they are renewed jitna jaldi ye log ban rahe hain usse jyada jaldi ye log khatam ho rahe hain that is we are talking about the resources okay so that is why uh, we are promoting sustainable use of the resources ye bhi aap log abhi aage chal kar ke padhenge ya fir kahin se suna bhi hoga aap logo ne so sustainable use of resources ka matlab yahi hai ki aap resources hum log resources ko is tarike se use kare ki aap hi nahi main hi nahi but hamare aage aane wali generations bhi hamare bacche aapke bacche bhi they are also able to live with the same freedom with the same choice With the same fulfillment of all these resources, ठीक है आज हम लोग वाटर बहुत अच्छे से यूज़ कर ले रहे हैं पेट्रोल डीजल सारी चीज़ें हम लोग के पास बहुत अच्छे से अवेलेबल है हम लोग यूज़ कर ले रहे हैं बट थिंक ऑफ द सिचुएशन ऑफ देयर टाइम ऐसा ना हो कि उनके टाइम तक आते आते ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे हैव बिन डिप्लीटेड ओके दे हैव टू परचेज एट अ मच हायर कॉस्ट और दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू यूज इन दिस फ्रीडम जितना आसानी से हम लोग वेस्ट कर ले रहे हैं यूज कर ले रहे हैं हो सकता है उन्हें उतनी आसानी से न मिले दैट इज वाई वी विल हैव टू प्रोमोट देम वी विल हैव टू यूज ऑल दीज रिसोर्सेस इन अ जुडिशियस मैनर इन अ सस्टेनेबल मैनर सो दैट नॉट ओनली अस नॉट ओनली वी बट आवर फ्यूचर जनरेशन कैन ऑल्सो यूज इट इन अ मच बेटर वे दिस इज ओनली इज नोन एज सस्टेनेबल यूज ऑफ रिसोर्सेस और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट ओके मूविंग अहेड वी हैव हियर दैट इज नेक्स्ट इज योर मेटल्स ओके मेटल्स विल बी डूइंग इट लेटर ऑन जेम स्टोन एंड नीड टू कंजर्व दैट्स इट ओके सो टुमारो विल बी कंप्लीटिंग दिस चैप्टर एंड टुमारो ओनली वी विल बी गोइंग अहेड विद द एक्सरसाइजेस एज वेल ओके सो मोस्ट प्रोबेबली एक्सरसाइजेस विल बी डन सो either on monday or if you are able to complete the exercises tomorrow i'll be providing you the written portion before sunday i cannot uh, guarantee you for tomorrow but i'll be trying to prepare it as soon as possible and i'll be providing you on the school learning app okay so <clears throat> please have a thorough reading of this chapter okay again because it is quite important and at the same time you'll be getting into more and more details as you go into your higher classes okay uh, you will be studying that this coal is made up of carbon and with this carbon you have entire one branch of chemistry that is known as your organic chemistry which you'll be studying in your higher class that is your 11th class till then okay <clears throat> that is till the next class please take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy and at the same time take all the necessary precautions so that we be on a safer side and we are able to get rid of this pandemic situation as soon as possible thanks a lot for being with me have a superb day ahead thank you